to Everyday Money Matters on Lagos Talks 91.3 FM. My name is Adu, and it's a beautiful Wednesday, of course, as always. This is your number one financial and uh, literacy, financial literacy and personal finance show, brought to you in partnership with our friends at uh, Naira Metrics. And you are welcome. Of course, as always, uh, I'm not alone in the studio. Uh, of course, I have with me, uh, how bit virtually, the elucidated and uh, erudite team from uh, Naira Metrics. And today I'm going to start my introductions with uh, Olumide, the finance man himself. Good morning, Olumide. How are you today? Uh, good morning, Adu. Yeah, it's nice to be on your show. Thanks nice for to be you. here. I see you're smiling from ear to ear. I, it feels like uh, your stockbroker just called you this morning. <laughs> yeah, Facebook stocks are flying high, so it's really cool. Well, it's really well, exciting. Well, they from side to side. Uh, good yeah. to have you here, uh, Olumide. Of course, uh, somewhere in the background, I can see you, Godre. Godre, hi. Good morning. How are you doing today? Hey, hey, my brother. Morning. How are you? I'm wonderful. You're the one who is all smiles, man. You are all smiles. The dollar rain. You got a dollar rain. <laughs> Olumide's mm -hmm. smile is contagious today. Uh, good ah, to I see. Olumide is <laughs> in some money right now. I tell looks you. Like. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, today we have a special guest uh, with us, and she's the head affluent banking in Standard Chartered Bank, and she's no other person than Chima Patience Ebo. Chima, how are you today? Hi, Adu. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm good. All right. All right. So just in case you do not know, Naira Metrics is uh, Nigeria's leading destination for business and financial news, of course, economic news as well, content that will help you get an analysis or coverage of the capital and money markets, uh, financial literacy, personal finance, et cetera, et cetera. It's just one place you can go and get all of that. So just head over to nairometrics.com to get more. Uh, about them. Let's get into the question uh, this morning. Uh, Ulumine, you talked about uh, Facebook and yeah. uh, they just hit a trillion dollars in valuation. Now, someone is joining us and asking the most salient question, is this a good time to buy Facebook shares? Uh, uh, very tricky, but um, this is a narrative. Well, I think uh, he, has largely, he has largely missed out of the train because um, if you look at the story about Facebook, this is a story about a stock that um, lost about 50% of its IPO price when it started trading um, some years back. And investors were concerned that um, would he be able to break um, the advert um, um, owed by Google and um, other likes. But the narrative change and classic buys from Mark Zuckerberg in the area of WhatsApp, Instagram really boosted the company so well. And just recently, the company had some relief when um, the FTC uh, lost this case in the courts that they couldn't break them out. It was, FTC was trying to break um, online Instagram and WhatsApp from Facebook. So right now, Facebook is a trillion dollar company. It took them 17 years. But this is the trick. Uh, stocks are their premium right now. And the fact that the US Fed is looking at is already having an off-case narrative might not look like a good time to buy. And if you look at recent statistics, this owner, Mark Zuckerberg, sold some of his shares out, telling you that these guys are cashing out some of their gains. So why would you want to join the narrative? Except you have uh, you, are, you are willing to stay uh, long on this. But I will say maybe you should look at some pullbacks and enter because the stock is really a very amazing stock. Um, I do. They already expanding their hardware business. Um, they have what um, this Oculus software is doing outstanding. Yeah. So it has so much promise, but the problem is that uh, the narrative right now is looking like the economy is going to be tightened very soon. Wow, thank you. Um, 17 years um, to recover trillion dollars. That's a remarkable one. Uh, uh, there's another question here, Olumide. This, uh, this is like your, should I say, uh, forte, because it's cryptocurrency. And uh, is it with the crash of yet another stable coin, uh, cryptocurrency, Stable coins is one thing people have thought to be a safe investment. Now, this person here is asking, are they truly a safe inv investment? Are cryptocurrency stable coins truly a safe investment? Yeah, yeah, I, I think the, the usual narrative is because uh, people hear stable coins and stable, they feel that it's uh, very, very safe. On paper, that looks like the narrative, but if you look at in principle, they are really not. And that's why if you've been following our articles and following and the, the show, 
have all detected that um, stable coins pose a lot of systemic risk. And this is the reason why, because you see, uh, stable coins are usually backed by currencies behind it. Do you understand? But you see, uh, many of these stable coin firms, they don't do audits. So we don't really know who's backing what. And for example, if you look at Tita, for example, Tita does billions of uh, dollar transactions a day. And you just see that um, data will just tell you that they are printing, they minted one billion, one billion. And a lot of people have been going concerned that is this money usually is really backed by uh, the dollar. And for a firm that has 13 employees with that kind of uh, amount, some experts are looking at that this uh, firm has some systemic uh, risk. And recently, the US Fed also spoke about Tita posing uh, uh, systemic risk to credit markets because of their influence in the world order because you use Tita to buy uh, Bitcoin and other stuff. So I think uh, the narrative is that people should not get too exposed to stable coins because uh, just we saw what happened to Silk Dollar going from, although that was a cyber attack, uh, going from uh, its price to zero dollar. It forces to tell you that uh, there are a lot of risks happening around this currency because these currencies are poorly audited, except for USDC, which is uh, run by Coinbase that has an audit firm and grant uh, to that audits that we don't see other people showing their audits. So that's the problem. Poor audit practices makes the coin exposed to so much risk. All right. All right. Um, let, let's now come to some of the things that are more, uh, should I say, akin to us. The question here is from an individual who says he has 500,000 Naira and wants to make an investment and person is bereft of ideas of what to do. The question is, what investment can I make right now with 500,000 Naira? Okay, uh, I think Ugojo, Ugojo is, uh, okay, let me go ahead. Uh, first of all, I think uh, the narrative is that that's about a thousand dollar. And uh, well, that doesn't look pretty much if we look at, uh, but if it's, kind of lose cash but i will say that uh, there are a lot of investments you can make uh, which as little as 50 to 100,000. we did an article on how you can invest with 100,000. and we spoke about penny stocks we put, spoke about youth saving accounts we talked about etfs and uh, mutual funds and the likes but this is the uh, criteria uh first that um fund size is kind of due to so we usually advise that person to uh develop the intellectual capacity or uh, their generating capacity so Creating a business or uh, doing something creative might really help you. Uh, but I think you should talk to your fund manager and the likes of, uh, we have standard chapters in the building. Um, there are some um, funds that you can invest with just 100,000 and you get um, good uh, returns in the year. So I think the narrative is just uh, getting a bit exposed and improving your capacity because that amount of money is really very small. Hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, final thought uh, before. Uh, I, I think I bring Chima on. What are the best ways to make real estate investments in Nigeria? Should it go the renting route or the selling route? That's very good. well. Let me take a stab on that question. Hmm. Um, Adu, yes. Why don't you answer? Let's see. What do you think? Rent or buy? What best way for to you. make real estate investments in Nigeria? Rent or buy for you? Rent. Rent? Mm -hmm. I see. All right. So um, the, the correct answer basically is it will always depend on, on what you're looking for. So if you're looking for stable income uh, that is regular, right, then you want to go for rent. But you got to understand that rental income for real estate will typically be about six seven percent per annum in terms of return so what am i saying if you a house that is worth a hundred million uh if you're lucky you probably get five billion in rent for it depending on the location that is even five percent okay um because that's how real estate really operates now but if you want to make money out of real estate if you're not looking for stable income but you just want to make you know quick box then you can go into buying and selling so you're basically flipping properties so uh you can go into you can you know buy a property at maybe 70 million and then a year or two later you can sell at 75 
or you can sell at 80 if you're extremely lucky. Again, if it's in a very good location where demand is high. So it all depends on, on what your investment goals are. Now, what I've noticed more recently is that a lot of people now go into real estate, not necessarily for rent or for sale, right? But for revenues, just like hotels and apartments. So basically Airbnbs mm. so or short stay apartments. So you can get into that kind of deal as well, where you buy apartments uh, or you go into deals with apartment managers or maybe um, apps like Airbnb. And then you can monetize your real estate even better. Now, of course, there are always vacancy rates, which means yeah, it's not all the time that you have your, your real estate field, your apartments field. Uh, but the money there is a lot more. And we can, I've heard within the range of 12 to 16% per annum in terms of return. In fact, if you're in a very solid place, you can even get more than 20% sometimes. So those are the kind of um, you know, real estate deals that you can do that can you know get you some some you know some good money out there. So if you want to go into real estate, then it's gotta be either you're going for rent or you want to flip or you're going the, the Airbnb way, which is like you know having an apartment. So either one works for you. I do what would you prefer? Well I, I said renting because I know uh, more people rent the volume of people that rent compared to the volume of people that buy uh the renters are more than the buyers so <laughs> <laughs> no, don't mind me i'm not an economist today so <laughs> i'm just speaking from <laughs> anyway uh, so just in case you're just joining us this is everyday money matters brought to you in partnership with uh, uh metrics here on lagos talks 91.3 okay and uh, it's important to note that you can watch this show over and over again listen over and over again uh, just head over to youtube at lagos talks nine one uh, a big about in at uh, nine metrics on uh, youtube and you can um, watch the content over and over again uh, you can listen to the questions listen to the responses from ugoje and the rest of the team on how to deal with all of these things but there's a better way to get uh, you know money insights and that's by subscribing to the stock select newsletter and that's where ugoje personally shows you and gives you a tip on what to buy, what to sell, what to hold in the stock market. You get briefing monthly, you get uh, analysis of the markets and so many other things that come with subscribing to the Stock Selector newsletter. To do that, just go to ssn.nyrometrics.com uh, and you will be, uh, should I say, a letter away from being a better investor. So don't, uh, hold back and please do maximize that opportunity well like i said at the start of the show we have with us here a uh, really august visitor in june her name is chima patience airball she's the head of affluent banking with santa chattered bank chima how are you today it's good to have you here this morning thank you i do i'm good and yeah. you I'm wonderful. And for those who are listening, Standard Chattered is a leading global bank operating here in Nigeria that offers premium and priority banking services to clients, which helps you to enjoy convenient banking solutions, uh, easy sign up, priority banking, Visa Infinite Debit, a convenient local and foreign currency accounts. It also gives you convenient digitally enabled banking and payment services, preferential everyday financing, exclusive globally recognized credit cards, and so much more. And Chima is here uh, this morning to tell us. Chima, can you go ahead and just uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, uh, Standard Chattered Affluent Bank? All right, thanks, um, Adrian. Um, so for us in Standard Chattered, um, you have talked about our priority and premium offering. Uh, just for me to add that uh, we're bank for everybody. Um, so we have the personal banking, we have the premium banking, and then we have the um, priority banking on the individual uh, space. We also have the business banking. Uh, for the purpose of this discussion this morning, I'll be talking specifically on our affluent banking, which is um, everyday banking, okay. investments, and other financial services, you know, provided by banks. This time around, um, Standard Chartered Bank, you know, primarily to emerging affluent and um, for high net worth um, individuals. So that's what um, affluent banking is all about. And then when we speak about emerging affluent, 
you know, these are generally people that are in their early 20s, you know, into their mid 40s. These are graduates, business owners, professionals, you know, people who are technological um, savvy, um, who require minimal contact. And then we, we try to put in, you know, uh, value, uh, client value proposition, you know, to suit these people. Why the priority banking are people uh, maybe for starting from the early 40s, you know, who had worked extra hard, who had accumulated a bit more, you know, so we have this um, client value propositions that we have also put in place to ensure that, you know, they enjoy their everyday banking. Hmm. So I hear you talk about this priority and premium banking. Uh, let me just ask, what are the benefits of being either of them, either a premium or priority client? Okay, so for the premium client, um, our, our value proposition, uh, thanks towards investment, you know, we have lots of investment options. For as right. little as $100, um, you can invest. Um, and as little as 100,000 Naira, you can right. come in as, um, as a premium client. We have lots of pricing and rewards, um, a lot of finance um, options for mm -hmm. this um, type of client. We have insurance solutions for them. We have a digital convenience, you know, where they, where they are able to build their account 247, you know, things around cardless uh, card withdrawal, you know, mm -hmm. contactless uh, debit card. You want to do your KR payment, you mm -hmm. want to make your bill payment, your DSTV, right. your utility, your buying your airtime, you know. And then our investment um, services that I talk about, the, the first one is the World Builder, which is the minimum of hundred dollars, you know, we also have the federal government bond. Uh, we have the treasury bill, we have the mutual funds and then general account management, you know, um, you're able to do your pin set, apply for your debit card online and it gets delivered to your home, you right. know, or to your designated address. You right. know, you can change your profile online. You can request for visa um, uh, reference forms, you know, uh, reference letters online. You can right. print your statement, a lot of, you know, um, digital convenience at, uh, for yourself. You know, yeah. these are the things that we have put for premium clients. And then we also have the financing options. You know, I had uh, spoken about the age, which is early 20s, which is a time, you know, people are ready, uh, perhaps still in school or planning to be out of school. You just started working, you know. So you need things like personal overdraft. You know, we should talk about, you know, getting your salary before the salary day. Then you have the personal loan, which is unsecured based on what you earn. We're mm -hmm. able to assess you and give you a certain um, amount of money uh, that ranges within different um, tenor. We also have mortgages. Um, people within that age range, uh, a lot of them are buying properties for the first time. They want to live there and, and all of that. So we're saying that as soon as you start working, you know, and if your objective is that you want to own a property early enough, you know, Standard Chartered Bank under premium banking will be able to provide you uh, that um, uh, finance options, you know. And then on our credit cards um, and debit card, we have loads of reward. You know, as soon as you sign up on our credit card, we give you 500 free points, you know. And then as you spend, you also build up your reward. And you can always, you know, redeem your reward and, you know, perhaps buy something on Conga, buy something online, you know, uh, pay your bills with the points that you have accumulated and a lot of that. And then we have a lot of offerings around lifestyle, you know, so we invite you to uh, targeted seminars, um, you know, from time to time, we also have seminars with Nerametrics, uh, like what we're going to have uh, this Friday, you know, where people uh, within this um, segment, they call me, we give them things around education sessions, you know, wow. uh, we tell you more about investment, tell you more about our offering. Okay. Then uh, from time to time, we also have automobile fairs, you know, where we invite you, you know, to test your own car, you know, new cars coming um, into the country, you have the advantage of, you know, be among the first people that are going to test run it and really have a fair of it. Um, then we have a lot of other uh, events, you know, that talks about work-life balancing, networking event, where you come in and you meet, you know, people perhaps in your industry or right. other industries, you know, that you'll be aspiring to be and, and a whole lot of that. And then you also have access to our investment club uh, for a premium client, where you know that you have a targeted amount of money that you're looking forward, um, you're looking forward to 
uh, save over a period of time. And we also have a debit card, you know, that has, you know, things around global emergency assistance, you know, travel assistance. Uh, when you're going to the embassy, you require for us to give you uh, an insurance um, uh, cover, you know, it comes with our card, you know, things around extended warranty, purchase protections, and all that offers and promotion, you know, as um, selected merchants, yeah. You know, so good. these are some of the things that we have. Well said, Shima. That's a very rich array there. Uh, I was just going to ask you uh, very quickly because someone might be listening and wondering, uh, how do I become a premium or priority client? Do I just walk in your bank? Uh, what do I do? Okay, so for premium client, uh, these are people and um, annual salaries of about um, 7.5 million in a year, like I said, annual. Uh, for priority, it's people who earn about 15 million in a year. So if you fall within this category, uh, you're going to be in a premium or in a, a priority. But if you're below this, you know, you're going to also be in a personal banking. So for us, it's Standard Chartered Bank. It's everyday bank for everybody. So how do I open an account with Standard Chartered Bank? Very simple. You go to your Play Store, you know, you, you go to um, uh, either your Play Store or your Apple, um, your Google Android Store, you know, whichever uh, type of phone, you know, that you have. Just download SC Mobile, and then you go in with your BVN. In less than um, five minutes, you have your account number, and then you just start um, operating your account. So by the time you come in. You start from somewhere. If you want a current account, and then you 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 now have to bring in maybe a little more document, you know, for you to have a current account and all of that. But the beautiful thing about our app is that you can go in and in less than five minutes you have your account number and then you start operating your account. Wow, thank you very much. And so I I know that there's an event happening uh, later this week, particularly on Friday. That's a timeout with uh, Ugo. Uh, which will give you practical strategies, uh, investment stra strategies. Uh, can you tell us about it and maybe tell us how people can attend it? Okay. Um, yes, we're having the premium timeout uh, session with Ugo Mall, you know, where um, Ugo Dre, where all of us will be um, together talking about um, investment strategies, your objective, what do you want to achieve? Uh, I, I think from tomorrow, uh, we're starting the second half of the year. You know, have you been able to assess those things that you said you want to do this year, the investment that you said you want to start, the debt that you said you want to pay off, the property that you said you want to buy, you know, some of these things that you had, you know, talked about it as these are the things I want to do for 2021. Have you been able to do it? If you have started, that's good. If you have not, you know, there's still a lot of opportunities uh, for you uh, with Standard Chartered Bank, you know, so that's what we'll be having the event by 12 noon on Friday. So you can register on Naira Metrics um, and then Naira Metrics will also be sending out our link, that Standard Chartered Bank link, you know, all you need to click on that link, register, and then, um, you know, you're being given the access code for you to log in into the webinar. Okay, Ugo, do you want to add one or two uh, thoughts to that? Yes, very much so. And um, I'm, it's a webinar that I'm hugely looking forward to. Adu, you know, you are, we're in a very uh, precarious period in the country, uh, especially financially and even economically. So uh, a lot of people are looking for the best ways uh, to invest your money. And uh, when I say invest your money, the kind of investments that you can have that will preserve wealth, right? So mm -hmm. to do that, you need to be very um, smart about how and where you invest uh, your money. And so do you want, at what point do you do dollar denominated investment? At what point do you do naira denominated investment? What kind of tenor should you be looking at? What kind of return should you be looking at? How do you even go about doing, making this kind of investments? Uh, how do you hedge against inflation? How do you hedge against, you know, foreign currency risk? So this is going to be a very, very interesting roundtable discussion. And as usual, you know, we're going to do it the EMM style. So people are going to be free to ask questions, respond to those questions. And then, you know, you know what? You always share ideas. When you have forums like this and sessions like this, there's a lot of ideas, you know, that you share. I also pick up a lot of stuff from it, right? Because as an investor, you're basically learning every day, right? Uh, you're learning every day. You're getting introduced to new things and you're 
you're constantly investing in knowledge of investing. So it's something that we look forward to. We had something similar uh, a few months ago and it was actually quite successful. So I really, really look forward to this one. And, and as usual, it's online. So it's at your convenience. So Adu, even you can join. You know that, right? I know, absolutely. <laughs> look forward to it. Okay, uh, Chima, before you go, uh, just just help us with this. You know, like Ugo said, uh, we are in very precarious times and there's a lot of fraudulence going on uh, right now. Um, could you tell us what Standard Chartered is doing to protect clients from fraud and to ensure that they don't fall victim? All right, thank you, um, Adun. Yeah, we, we live in a very um, precarious time and environment, you know, and it's very important that um, having worked so hard, uh, you're able to preserve your wealth and um, we're not careless about, uh, you know, how we do our banking. So for us in Standard Chartered Bank, uh, first starting from our app, um, the way our app is built, uh, is well secured, you know, um, a lot of um, authentication, for you to come in into the app and for us to continue to um, ensure that you are really the right person that have access um, to the client, um, uh, to your own account, you know. And then we do a lot around education of clients. You know, we always send our customers, you know, uh, things around EDMs, you know, telling them first, as a bank, we will never ask you for your card number, this is basic, you know, for things around us because you receive loads of calls. Somebody is telling you your card, uh, something is wrong with your card. Can I have your card number? Standard Chartered Bank will never call you, you know, to ask you for your card number. We will never call you to ask you for your PIN, you know. So if you receive such call, it is not um, from us. You know, when we send you information, um, aside from when we have webinars, and you know that it's just for our webinars, you know, we don't share links with clients, you know, we refer you to our website and whatever information anyone is giving you, please always look at our website, you know, for you to be sure that this is coming from us. And in our website, you can see our contact numbers. For us in priority banking, we have our contact number, we have a client center that is operating 247. So please always cross check and be sure. However, do not disclose any of your personal information. Thank you, Shima. What's the website so that people can get more information and uh, be able to get that contact number for you? What's the website for the bank? So our website is www.sc.com slash ng. www.sc.com slash ng. ng. All right. Thank you, Chima, for taking out time to be with us today. And uh, I'm hopeful that uh, Time Out with Ugo will be a very successful event. Ugo, any final, uh, you know, one or two before we sign off right now? Yeah, so um, please uh, make sure that you're, you know, you sign up uh, on Friday and uh, okay. you're part of the part of the event. Can you hear me, Adu? I can hear you loud and clear. All right, good. So hope to see you guys on Friday. Uh, and as usual, keep it real, keep it locked, keep it profitable. And please, Tell the sports guys mm -hmm. that you know Arsenal keeps representing mm -hmm. even in, in even in Europe. I don't know if uh, Shagun is there. Let's yeah, I'm right here. Give it, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell Shagun that. Tell Shagun that that, that we represent very well. Keep on dreaming. Until next week, you enjoy the rest of your day, Ugo and Chima, and everybody else. Right. Next week is uh, sports day.